There's a scary cemetery in this Egyptian neighborhood that is said to be haunted only on the quietest of nights. Mustafa Nabil goes exploring the haunted place at an early hour with his friends. In front of the cemetery gate stands a tall and silent figure guarding the outside. They immediately cut the paranormal exploration short and just want to go home, but the mysterious figure is not going to let them off that easily. It seems like they are blocked at every turn. Something looks at them from around the corner and sends them running down random streets to get away. They are out of breath and about to slow down to regroup when they see the spirit has somehow teleported ahead of them and brought back up. They have to keep moving and stay out of sight. There are many winding alleyways to go through, but they feel constantly watched and far from safe as they are relentlessly followed down every path. At 8 minutes and 24 seconds, they think they are safe and finally slow down. None of them see a supernatural figure watching them from the shadows. The video ends, but it seems their paranormal plight is far from over. A piece of the graveyard has committed itself to following them home. In 2019, an allegedly real supernatural creature sighting video emerged from Sindh, Pakistan. According to villagers, this bizarre humanoid was caught entering houses and attempting to devour them. They all formed a group to chase it with sticks down the street into the night. While dodging blows at exactly 7 seconds, the creature looks to reveal a furry face with all red eyes. However, I think this looks like a mask worn by somebody pretending to be a monster. Maybe the villagers were making a fake video, or maybe in their mass panic they were really fooled into believing this monster existed. I'll keep an eye out for similar sightings around Pakistan, but I don't think I'll find many like this one because, well, it probably isn't real. If I'm wrong though, and plenty of people people who've seen this video think that I am, then this creature sighting would be absolutely horrifying to have caught on camera. I wish they had a longer recording of the incident. A man comes home one evening, only to find one of the chairs by his front door has been pulled up. This makes him suspicious, so he checks his home security system to see if it was the wind or what. He wasn't expecting to find anything creepy like this man staring straight at the camera with a weird expression, arms crossed. This stranger is as suspicious as can be. Something might be concealed under his arm. His forehead is creased with stress, like he's about to do something to whoever opens that door. As if one visit wasn't weird enough, he comes back a few minutes later. He was most likely watching the house to see if anyone would open the door. He takes one last, highly suspicious look directly into the window, possibly to see if anything of value is immediately within sight, looks up at the security camera, and decides to leave. I really doubt he has any legitimate reason to be here. If he did, he could have at least left a note explaining himself. That probably would have been a better move instead of looking as shady as possible. Well, potentially concealing something under his arm. The person who owns this house lives in the middle of nowhere with no neighbors, making their house an easy target, and they have never seen this person before. If they didn't have this security system to protect them, he might have tried to get in. Rian Silver is a paranormal explorer who searches every abandoned house that he can find in the hopes that it's haunted by a djinn for him to catch on camera. Most of his videos have absolutely nothing paranormal in them, seemingly an abandoned house with nothing in it, just 20 minutes of creeping around empty room after room, but one of his scariest videos of all is paranormal beyond belief and has left him seriously creeped out ever since. He calls it the real horror house. Here's why. A strange sensation leaves him shaking before he's even cleared the main floor. The real horror house is different. From any place he's ever been before, it feels truly haunted. No, 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 no. 
At two minutes and eight seconds, a pair of glowing eyes stares at them from the window. It's not a cat. Nine seconds later, this creature with glowing eyes is seen outside the doorway. As they are leaving the room, a faint groan is heard behind them. As they reach the top of the stairs, they see another shadow figure that dips into the doorway upon their approach. They pursue and the weirdness follows close behind. A sudden chill gives Rhea unraised goosebumps. He's showing them to the camera when all of the sudden. <laughs> Bone chilling laughter now fills the abandoned house. I was thinking maybe it's people playing outside, but who would be playing in the middle of the night by an abandoned house? I think it's coming from inside and very close by. <laughs> Things get even more creepy when they reach the basement. Down here is where they find a single square opening to a secret hidden holding room with no way out. It looks like somebody might have been kept in this secret room for a long time. Riyan doesn't dare climb in, but who knows what they would have discovered if he did. Could something in this creepy room also be the source of whatever's haunting this abandoned building? When they record inside, this freaky EVP is what's caught on camera. <laughs> A tiny voice screams up at them from within, very faint but unmistakable when you hear it. Is this the final resting place of someone who fell in and can't get out? I think that might be the case. This YouTuber works security at a building that's so haunted, he can't even get past to the elevator without scary stuff happening. It's gotten to the point where he records anywhere he goes because the place is seriously that haunted by paranormal poltergeist activity everywhere. The building has a nice gym room for example, but it seems the equipment is always in use one way or another. Weird things are always caught on camera moving around on their own when he's out of arm's length. But it is perhaps this haunted playroom area that sees the most paranormal activity of all. So that's a lot of freaky stuff to have happened, but he's been making videos for years and I've saved the absolute scariest video for last. You're not going to believe this one because it's that beyond creepy. He lives alone and hears the voices of a family coming from his room. When he calls into the darkness, he is answered by the shadow person sighting. The dark outline of a shadow moving in the small amounts of light coming through a crack in the door. 
Hostia, la luz. There's no doubt that somebody was in there with him, but was it planned or was it a real ghost sighting caught on video? I think when you look at all of the paranormal video evidence caught on tape, you'll conclude that this place is really haunted. He could be faking it, but I don't really see how. Also, with barely any views on his videos, I don't see why he would continue for years on end unless it was really happening to him. शुरू से लेकर एंड तक देखे शुक्रिया तो ये आप देख सकते हैं क्योंकि मैं और अजीब अजीब सी हरकतें करती रहती है ये आप देख सकते हैं Ahmed knows of someone in need of his help. She's apparently been taken over by something paranormal, and he hopes to break it by reciting the right words over her bedridden figure. The orb activity picks up whenever he speaks. Her gray hands have marks and worn knuckles. Her fingers are constantly flexing. When she reaches for Ahmed at 3 minutes and 54 seconds, her arms are likewise discolored and marred. Something has been hard at work destroying her from the inside out. We don't get to see much of her face, but when we do get a glimpse, it looks scary and possessed. A twisted sneer across cracked gray skin at 9 minutes and 4 seconds. By the end of the session, she says something that makes him stop recording with a small sigh. Tell me what she says here to seemingly break his spirit. The possibility of this being real depends on if you believe in spirits taking someone over. Caught on tape is a scary woman, no doubt about that, but she could also be suffering from some kind of illness that causes delusions and skin conditions. This could also be makeup and some very good acting. The orbs could be from a dusty room, but the way they move over her makes me wonder if this is a real paranormal video caught on tape. A YouTuber named Cup Stewart lives on the cusp of the rainforest in Indonesia. Tonight he is investigating rumors of a small creature haunting the woods to see if it's real. He goes exploring where the creature was last seen and lays a trap. After a while, something with a white face and long hair comes out of the forest and lowers into the cage. From the woods approaches a tall figure. A man rumored to live isolated from the rest of the island. He subdues one of them, and while Cup Stewart is checking on the condition of his friend, the stranger lets his pet humanoid creature free from its cage and runs extremely fast out of sight. This video has over 8 million views and about half the people think it really happened. I honestly can't say I agree. For one, the creature pretty obviously looks like a puppet in my opinion. I think somebody wearing black is standing behind this cage and moving it around with their arms. They also put the camera really far away from the cage. Almost anyone would put the camera right up there. They keep it far away in my opinion because it probably looks too fake close up. The man running away looks kind of weird, but it could be sped up or special effects. Even though this video is fake in my opinion, I'm including this on the list because it's gone viral and deserves an honest analysis. Tell me if you think it has any possibility of being real. On February 5th, 2002, Robert Picton was taken into custody by a Vancouver police task force who had found personal items on his pig farm from a woman who had disappeared. There were no other clues aside from the missing belongings, such as a prescription inhaler and other items. In other words, enough evidence to hold him but not enough for a solid conviction. 
Prosecutors needed more evidence, so on February 23, 2002, they sent one of their best undercover officers to pose as an inmate to try to get Robert to confess his actions. Robert hadn't had a friend in a long time and was more than willing to swap stories with what he thought was a fellow like-minded psycho. What he revealed was absolutely horrifying. The undercover officer leads the conversation by saying the ocean is the best way to get rid of the past away. Roberts is quick to correct him. With CCTV cameras rolling overhead, the undercover officer gets Robert Picton to admit something he had not said to the detective in years. The reason they weren't able to find any of the passed away was because he had put them through meat processing equipment and most likely fed them to his pigs. When the undercover agent tries to get him to say more about what he's done, Robert gives us a glimpse into what a person like him thinks of the people whose lives he's taken. <laughs> What's most terrifying of all about this is how they were nothing more to him than a number. He sees no individuality, nothing to make them human or set them apart. They are all the same to him, a number that he wants to make even for his own selfish satisfaction. Robert Picton might have gotten away with all 50 acts if not for the self-incriminating testimony which was used against him. On December 11, 2007, he was sentenced to life behind bars. He decided not to make a statement upon being sentenced. I guess he felt like he had already said enough. Bonding with nature takes on a whole new meaning when creepy stuff like this happens. It's extremely rare to see a bat anywhere. Oh, that's good. Oh, <laughs> A midday hike turns terrifying when a bat snuggles up in mom's hair. Anderton Explorer caught the entire creature sighting on camera. Now they have to figure out how to get it untangled. <laughs> Snapping their fingers to scare it off is a good idea, but the bat doesn't seem to care much. It spreads its wings, turns around, and marches towards her face. <laughs> The mom is getting really scared, and who wouldn't be when a bat is about ready to crawl up next to your ear? They have to save her. Would you be brave enough to do the same? Will you hold still? <laughs> the bat is off of her, but it stays near all their possessions. It's dazed, not moving at all, and then suddenly it flies up in her daughter's face and almost gets in her hair next. Something almost has to be wrong with it. This isn't normal behavior at all. Think about it. A nocturnal creature sighting in broad daylight is a bad sign. An animal that is normally afraid of humans landing directly on one is even worse. The bat might have had rabies. If so, it was probably trying to get at her, but couldn't find its way through her hair. So with that in mind, this video becomes even scarier when you realize it could have been unknowingly poking for nearly three minutes straight at a bat that could potentially have rabies. The whole family was treating it like a joke, when in reality they could have gotten a serious case. In their defense, they do say in the comments that they saw the bat fly back into its cave, though how exactly that makes it any less likely to have rabies or not is something I don't understand. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds? Because I upload 4 new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1 Seva Solutions is a health and lifestyle YouTube channel with a video that's going to creep out anyone eating an apple right now. For those of you who don't know, grocery stores actually will cover apples in literal wax to make them look shiny and therefore more appealing to buy. That means every time you bite into an apple, you're potentially eating wax. 
This YouTuber has created a method of getting the store wax off and wait until you see what it looks like at the end. First, she jabs an apple and runs lemon juice around the outside to loosen the wax bond. After that, she pours boiling hot water over the apple to fully remove the substance. After a few minutes of turning and pouring, she is finally finished. So as you can see, this is all of the just waxy stuff that came off of the apple. It's pretty gross when you think about that that's what you consume when you just think you're eating a nice healthy apple. This sludge at the bottom of the bowl is what the wax looks like once it comes off. Pretty gross, huh? It's definitely not something I want to eat. This video made me curious about organic apples, so I did some research and yes, they have wax on them too. Apparently the wax has been made out of a special organic substance, but I would rather they not do this at all. Brian Wood is not home when somebody he doesn't know decides to enter his home in Belen, New Mexico. 